Hello guys, my name is Adora Andrea and welcome back to my channel. So I know what you're thinking, it looks like I have a lot of makeup on, but honestly, truly, I don't. I don't. Like, that's the whole kill. So this is my summertime makeup tutorial. I actually didn't even use foundation this time around. If you want to see what I use, make sure you keep watching this video. But yeah, I just think this is really pretty and glowy and it's full glam just the way I like it, but then like my skin feels like skin and I don't look or feel cakey. So if you want to see how I achieve this look, keep on watching. Okay, so to prime my skin, I'm going to be using the NYX Angel Veil Primer. I haven't used this thing in a while and I'm just, it says, is it mattifying? It's not mattifying, but it's oil free which is definitely something that you need in the summertime because you know the hot sun automatically creates like sweat on your face so this helps combat like the grease and stuff So for the summertime, I just really want my skin to have the ability to breathe and relax. So I don't really want to do anything too much to my skin. And I'm going to be using the Maybelline Dream Bronze BB 8-in-1 Beauty Balm Skin Sunkiss Glow Perfector. And I got it in light medium, which is 10, and then medium deep, which is 20. So I'm just going to mix those bad boys together. I'm just going to dot it onto my face. And I'm not really looking for something that's like full coverage like that. I just want something to make my skin lo not look dead. Here we go. Now I'm just going to blend what I have out on my beauty blender. And I think I'm just gonna see what other places I need to cover afterwards. Like, as you can see, like, the coverage for this foundation is super sheer. Which is kind of what we want. We want, like, a natural, like, sun-kissed look. Not really full coverage. This is summertime friendly. Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it that. I'm gonna call this tutorial summertime friendly makeup. I like that. Yeah, this is a very like sheer coverage, very natural looking. Oh my god, what is this? Taco meat edges? Fuck. Okay, so I used medium beige in my last tutorial and I really like that. So I think I'm gonna go again, but I'm not really gonna do any like OC highlighting. So I'm just gonna take my LA Girl Pro Concealer in medium beige and just cover up my bag underneath my eyes. I'm getting like natural goddess vibe from this. And per usual, I'm just going to blend this area out. guys so this okay so I just wiped some of the product off on my hand and it has a very like it's like shimmery under here which I didn't even realize and I kind of like that so like when I'm in the sun I get like this super bronze color so I'm gonna cream contour my face I'm going to be using the black opal foundation stick in the color nutmeg this is what it looks like just like that I'm going to contour my face. And this is going to help bring a little bit um, of color. 
bath because I feel very wet. I'm looking very, very bronzed right now. Like, summertime goddess, hello. It is she. But I'm just gonna clean up my contour and set my under eye concealer with Laura Mercier powder. You know what to do. I'm just gonna cut there, put some powder. Press some powder into my skin over here. We don't wanna crack and I think I want to set my contour with just my face powder because I don't want my contour being any darker than this like this is actually what I was going for Now I'm going to set my entire face with my MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC45. Can I just say that I'm like really impressed with my face. Like the fact that this is BB cream and my face is looking this beat but there's like nothing on my skin like this is sha popping. Oh yeah, that's me, oh yeah, oh yeah, that's me. Now we're gonna move on to my eyes. I want them to be very bright and orangey and shimmery, you know, per usual. So I'm just going to put some concealer on them as an eyeshadow base. I've probably said this in every single one of my toots. Now I'm just going to blend the mess out and then set it with some setting powder. So now that my eyes are all set, what do I want? So I'm going to take my Modern Renaissance palette, duh. I'm going to go into Burnt Orange. I'm going to go into Burnt Orange into my crease, right? Like, duh. Why did we even think otherwise? Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna spray my brush with some rose water, right? And then I'm going to take this, sh this is my Morphe 350 palette by the way. I'm gonna take my Morphe, I'm gonna take my Morphe 350 palette and take this shade right here and this shade right here. Wait, this shade right here and this shade right here. And I think I'm going to mix them. So like just scrub my brush in both of them and pack it onto my lid. There we go, something fiery like that. That's what I want. Now that I pack the color onto my lid, I'm going to take a love letter from the Modern Renaissance palette and just put that in the outer corner. Okay, so now that I actually like the way my eyes are looking, I'm going to put liner and lashes and I'll be right back. 
So for lashes, I use the Ardell Double Up Lashes. And I, this is my first time using them. And I've seen like Nas and Nain wear these. And I'm just like, oh baby, this is something crazy. No, just kidding. But no, this is really, 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 really cute. And for mascara, I use the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot, which is Maybelline's collaboration with Manny MUA and Makeup Shayla. And I know I'm really late on this, but this stuff, son, you don't even need like falsies to wear this. Like your lashes automatically go like boom. Shout out to you guys. So for my lower lash line, I think I'm just going to take some love letter and run that underneath. Now I'm just going to put some mascara on my lower lash line as well. You know what I think is missing? I think I'm missing some black, whatchamacallit, like some black um, eyeshadow. Okay, so I'm just going to take my Morphe 35C. Is this C? Yeah, my Morphe 35C palette. I'm just going to take the black in that palette and just put that on my waterline. I don't even know if I can do this on camera. I'm like so close. Per usual, I'm just going to spray my face with some rose water spray and this is from Mario Badescu duh bitch what else do we use so duh you already know I'm going to use for my highlight I'm going to be using my ASI the Beverly Hills highlighter palette this is the glow kit in sun dipped and I'm going to take summer and tourmaline I really like the combination for my last tutorial so I'm going to do it again just like this, like, damn, damn, sis. I think I'm gonna do a brow bone highlight. I'm gonna put a little bit of highlight in my inner corner. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, I like the way you move. Shorty, my baby, my everything. She the truth. And just to set my face, I'm going to be taking my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray and hose myself down. For my lips, I'm going to be taking my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Stockholm. I'm just going to press a little bit of it off because but I want it to be a stain, not really a strong color. And that is the end of my video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.